And we continue to cover Colorado First tonight with an update out of Aurora, where a fire at an apartment sends five people to the hospital. Some of those injuries are critical. That fire broke out earlier this morning at the complex located off 12th Avenue and North Dallas Street. That is just north of the Lowry area. Stan Bush at that scene for us tonight. And Stan, we know 11 units were damaged. And Karen, the Red Cross tells us that 10 people have been displaced by this fire. Two of those are children. But we do also understand that no one died in this fire. And when you take a look at the damage, you realize what a miraculous statement that really is. That fact due in large part to neighbors who jumped in to save their neighbors. A neighbor recorded the effort to save people inside this burning apartment building before emergency crews could even arrive, pulling ladders off a nearby cable truck to try to save people trapped on the second floor. I came outside about 2 o'clock to uh, have a cigarette, and then uh, I already heard a lady screaming, um, my house is filling up with smoke. Aurora fire crews made their own ladder rescues immediately on the scene, grabbing residents cornered by thick smoke and flames on the third floor. I like wake up at like 2 in the morning, I see a lot of fire, a lot of smoke. Oh, it's scared, and so I'm taking out my babies with my fast I can. Investigators are struggling to piece together how the fire started and where. It ravaged the building's main stairwell and apartments on the top two levels. An arson dog searched the area. Arson is not suspected, but at this time, it hasn't been ruled out. Five people were taken to the hospital with injuries that range from minor to life-threatening. Neighbors credit rescue crews for arriving just minutes after the flames emerged. It was just kind of exciting, honestly, to see it, but as well as worried about everybody's well-being. Fire crews say another element that really helped save lives, working smoke detectors that woke people up at 2 o'clock in the morning so they could get out before the fire got too hot. We're live in Aurora. Stan Bush, CBS 4 News. Pretty incredible, Stan. Thank you.